Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Thursday morning. Uh, I think it's m April 25th or something like that. I can't keep track of the days. Uh, it's a sunny day. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 11:45 um, a.m. Uh, it's Thursday. It's cold outside, though it's only about 47 degrees. I suppose in the middle of winter, uh, this would feel warm, but right now it's feeling pretty cold to me. I'm ready for some uh, nice warm weather. Anyway, uh, this morning already I've been to my cardiologist for a scheduled appointment and uh, check on my pacemaker and defibrillator. You know, they like to check and make sure the battery is uh, up to date, that the leads are stable and things like that. So. Everything was good. Um, right now, once again, I'm uh, on my way to uh, drop off some lunch for my daughter. I do this once in a while. Uh, this time I thought I would actually take you in with me so you can uh, meet her in person. So as soon as we get there, we'll check it out. But uh, sit rep on our camping trip to Tennessee, uh, which is scheduled to be uh, one week from today. So one week from today, we are scheduled to leave. Uh, that's our plan anyway. We are planning to try to leave early as possible. Um, my wife uh, does not like to get up super early. Well, she does get up super early, but um, you know, I think probably by the time uh, we get everything situated, she likes to take her time getting things situated. So we'll probably leave, I'm hoping by 8 or 9 a.m. Uh, our plans are to uh, just drive halfway, um, approximately halfway, uh, mainly because you know, it is about an eight or nine hour drive, uh, depending on traffic. It's not bad. I could do eight or nine hours. We've done it many, many times before going down to Tennessee. We've been down there a ton of times, tent camping. But this will be our first time uh, taking our camper down there. So uh, I'm expecting that we'll be going slower. We'll be stopping for gas more for sure. So uh, I'm planning to get into Kentucky and just find some place to pull over for the night in Kentucky uh, someplace, and then we'll make the rest of the journey uh, Friday morning, which is when we have our uh, camping reservations for uh, beginning Friday and going through uh, the following Thursday. But here's the, here's the, uh, the uh, problem that could potentially arise. Uh, I'm scheduled to take my truck in for its 5,000 mile maintenance. Uh, they'll rotate the tires, you know, check everything over, make sure everything is, is good. They'll check the fluid levels. Uh, they don't have to change my oil until 20,000 miles, and I've only got like 14,400 or 500 miles on the truck. But uh, the problem is that when I scheduled the maintenance, they also told me that there's a recall on my truck, the 2023 Toyota Tacoma. There's a possibility that there's some uh, welding fragments on the rear axle which could uh, damage the rear axle and make uh, it difficult to brake and it could create uh, uh, stability issues. So I don't know how serious it really is, but the problem is if, um, if they if there is an issue with this truck, then, you know, with my particular truck, then they'll have to order the parts 
and I'll have to bring the truck back in to have it repaired. So uh, they said the parts could take uh, a couple of weeks up to a month to get, which is a bummer because, um, you know, I'll have to see what they say if it would be safe for me to pull my camper. Uh, if it's not, then um, we might not be going to Tennessee. So uh, we'll have to see about that. Now, another thing that we could do is we could take my wife's car. Uh, she's got a Mazda 3, and now we've driven that, that car every time that we've been to Tennessee since we've been together. Uh, but it's loaded up in the back, um, which is not a big deal, but uh, my wife wants to take our two cats. Because they're older and uh, she just wants to have them nearby, they get really weird if we're gone too long. So uh, we'd have to, uh, you know, make arrangements to have somebody come and feed them and, and check in on them. And we really don't have anybody that can do that easily for us. So uh, our next door neighbors normally would do that, but they're also out of town. Uh, this week and all of next week and the following week. So my wife is actually taking care of their cats right now. So, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'll know after tomorrow. And uh, if we, you know, can go, then I'll get uh, finished packing up over the weekend. It's supposed to be really nice this weekend here in Detroit. Uh, in terms of temps, it's supposed to be like uh, 75 to 80 degrees um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So there'll be good days for me to uh, get everything ready. Okay, we're here where my daughter works now. Let's go in and meet Sarah. Hi, you want to say anything to the camera? What do you want me to say? I don't know, just say hello. Hi. <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> You're very popular today. This is where I work. What? This is where I work. I sit here all day. <laughs> Bye. All right, that was my daughter, Sarah. I know it wasn't super interesting, but, um, just wanted you all to see her. Maybe, uh, you know, at another time I'll um, do a video with both of us together hanging out or doing something. Uh, Sarah is supposed to come camping with me in June. I do have some reservations to camp up in northern Michigan, do a tent camp. So we'll probably be going for a couple of days in early June. Anyway, folks, that's it. Thank you for uh, joining. I know this isn't super interesting. This is just my daily life. Um, talk to you later. Uh, remember to be a good human being. Really try hard to be a good human being and uh, try hard to also be useful to other people. It's the way to happiness. See you later. Bye-bye.